the, the mobile payment conference with Don Bush from Count. And thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, what is Count? Count is a uh, software as a service that helps merchants, online merchants and card not present merchants, reduce their fraud risk and increase their opportunities for enhanced revenue. Boost sales, beat fraud is what we say. All right. Um, how does Count fit into the mobile um, ecosystem? Well, inside the mobile ecosystem, there's one choke point, and that's the transaction. Are you transacting with data? Are you transacting with a payment? Most often it's a payment transaction of some sort. And fraudsters look for those gateways to infiltrate and cause trouble. And so when they have a payment transaction, that's where a lot of times they will fit in with uh, stolen credit cards or stolen credentials, and then they can cause havoc to your ecosystem. Whether it's a fraudulent payment, whether they're trying to get other information, we stop that at the gate so that they don't get in there, they can't cause trouble, we reduce merchants' risk of loss payment or loss via fraud and so forth. What does the account customer look like? The account customer is typically an online, it can be a brick and mortar that has an online component, it can be a pure play online, somebody that is in the card not present space, maybe it's a mail order company or that has a phone order uh, component to it. Um, we work with almost every industry out there from games to tra travel and leisure to uh, insurance. So if you're selling anything online, we've got something that can help protect you. What type of trends do you see in mobile commerce? You know, we've seen in the last couple of years, and especially in 2013, mobile commerce started to take off as a legitimate channel. You could do things prior to that in certain areas like iTunes that was uh, functional, um, but the purchases have gone dramatically up, more purchases have been made, and so retailers are starting to take it more seriously. They see it as a real way to transact with their customers that's secure, it's economical, it's efficient, it's easy for them to use anywhere they want to go. And with that new channel comes new challenges. And those challenges, whether they can be taken care of or not, are the unknown to retailers. And we come in and give them some certainty that they can transact on that channel and still be a secure, protect their brand, protect their customers, and lower their risk. Tell me about the most recent security breach with the retailers out there. Um, if they were using Count's service, um, what what's the play there? If they were using you, would this have happened? What could have it prevented? You know, it's interesting. We don't work in the brick and mortar stores on their POS slide. That's not where we, we target our audience. But if their online component were using Count, that breach would have been stopped a long time ago because we would have seen it right at that at that point of contact. Now, Count, because we are global in nature, we actually saw a lot of the evidence of a breach with a number of cards that hit the market, the number of fraudulent attempts that hit the market. Um, so customers of Count have been protected by these fraudsters not being able to use those stolen credentials in any of those retail outlets that we protect online. So it's a very interesting thing. Uh, I call it the, uh, my analogy is you walk into the kitchen and it's got an inch of water on the floor. You don't know where it's coming from, but you know there's a problem. <laughs> right. Well, we've protected our customers against that breach by not allowing those fraudsters to use those cards and those identities on their website so they don't see the loss. Got it. So tell me about what people think using a fraud protection service. Does it hinder the online checkout experience? You know, that's um, some people will use very blunt tools and techniques to try and stop fraud. For instance, uh, we've got their customers now, but when we got to them, they were saying, well, we just don't accept orders from, you know, these risky countries. And, and even if the country is uh, Nigeria, even if 50% of the orders are no good, that means 50% of the orders are good. So we wouldn't suggest anybody cut those types of uh, countries off. With Count, we can look at the minute little details of every transaction to tell them whether that's a legitimate or a, an Ill illegitimate order. And so taking those broad strokes to try and reduce fraud, they work, but they also reduce sales. And so 
With count, we work in about 300 milliseconds during the checkout process. So a customer never even sees or slows down their process because they're using count. And we provide all that protection for the merchant themselves, which protects their brand, their risk of loss, and quite frankly, their association with their customer. I have a couple other questions. Um, EMV. Does that, does that matter with you guys? I mean, do you think it's going to help fraud or do you think that we still need services like yours? Well, there's evidence around the world. Uh, as EMV has been rolled out in different countries, the fraud at POS, where counterfeit cards are used or ATMs, that has definitely reduced fraud there dramatically. However, those fraudsters don't say, well, I'm going to give up and go away now. They just change their tactics and they take them online, where the EMV or the chip and pin, as it's known, isn't terribly effective online. And so what we've seen in those countries that rolled out EMV, their POS fraud reduced, but their online fraud went up by two, three, four, five times in some instances. And so those fraudsters just changed their tactics. We have this, this expression that fraud is like a half-filled balloon. You push it down here and it comes up over here. And so it never really goes away. The best method is to protect yourself with something like count that sees that fraud and doesn't allow it into your system. Another question I have is in one of the sessions earlier today, uh, someone's like, what's the ROI on security? And they're like, how can you even measure that with all the fraud that's out there? What's your point of view on an ROI model? We do an ROI for customers every day. We do ROIs for prospects every day. There are some basic points that you can look at that says, this is what my payback is for my system. So one of them might be, chargebacks. Can I reduce my chargebacks? If you can reduce your chargebacks by 50, 70, we see it regularly by 90 percent, that's a real savings to the company. That's bottom line profits that are being taken away and paid to a fee that really gets you nothing. What about my losses of product, my cost of goods? What about my loss in shipping? Those can all be detected and prevented. We have one customer, they're a very large jeweler, they're both in brick and mortar and online. Reed's Jewelers, it's a case study on our website. They did an analysis that said one year after using Count, we looked at all the orders that we accepted, and we can tell you with certainty that last year we would have rejected 2,400 of those orders because we would have flagged them as too fraudulent. They added a half a million dollars to their bottom line simply because Count allowed them to accept more good orders without rejecting them because of suspicion of fraud. There's lots of ways to show ROI for security and risk mitigation online. Well, I wish you were in the session this morning because you would have stood up and told them, well, we have a ROI, but I do, probably would. do you have anything else you'd like to tell to our watchers? Anytime they've got a question, they're free to come to our website. We've got case studies. We've got videos that are really fun to watch. They show how our system works. Give us a call. Be glad to do a demo or run an ROI for them. With a few questions in about 10 or 15 minutes, we can give you a pretty good ROI of what count would return to that per particular merchant. Well, Don, thank you so much for your time, and thanks for watching. Thank you.